Hey Pokey friends, today we're going to go through the fossilized items that we get in our Pokemon games and turn them into actual Pokemon. So the fossils that we do get are version exclusive and there's four total. Two for sword, two for shield. The two ones for sword, which I'm going to actually just show you guys all of this, are bird and dino. Bird representing the Pokemon turning into an electric type. And then Dino representing is going to turn into an ice type. Sort of like how birds are weak to electric and dinosaurs got was rid of in the ice age. Then in shield, you get Drake and fish. Drake represents the dragon type and fish represents the water type. And to get those around route six and in the stow on side, specifically still on side in front of the Pokemon center, and if you look through all the items on Route 6, you'll find your respective fossils or your respective version of Pokemon Sword and Shield. And then after that, you come and talk to this researcher and she's going to turn your Pokemon or those fossils into the weirdest, weirdest Pokemon you've ever seen. So here we go. We're going to talk to her. Hmm. You've got some fossils there, huh? Will you show them to me, Carolus? Yeah, so which fossils do you think you want to start up with? So, we can first start off with bird, and then, or fish, and then we'll end with either drake or dino. And that's sort of like the formula. And so, we are first going to start off going from chronological order. So we're first going to start off with bird. Which of the fossils do you think will pique the curiosity of Carolis? We're going to do drake. Because then that's going to create the first one, Electric Dragon. Um, should have restored the fossilized, burn the fossilized dragon together? Um, I guess. Okay, restoration time. Let's unravel the mystery of these fossils. Alright, stick them together. Here we go. This totally reminds me of like Dr. Dragon, like fusing two things into one creature. Very, very Kim Possible like. Objective complete. It seems the restoration was a great success. Yes, I can see it, it, it in the eyes. This is a Pokemon that walked the face of Galar in ancient times. Please take care of this Pokemon, huh? When we received our first one, Dracozolt. Which? Here it is, it's pretty weird. <laughs> in ancient times, it was unbeatable thanks to its powerful lower body, but it went extinct anyway after it depleted all of its plant-based food sources. Interesting, but it totally looks butched. Like, look how big its body is, and look at like his little like legs, and it just looked like it was cut in half. It's pretty weird. Um, and we're not going to. Actually, we're going to name it. We're naming it. Um, what happened? Because literally, what happened? Like, I really want to know what happened. Happened. Well, it's shortened, so we're just going to do what happened. Or what happens. Okay? So, what happens? Yep, we're going to send it to the box. Cool. Now we're going to do this again. And we're this time going to do the fossilized bird with the dino. And that's going to give us electric ice. And here we go. Stick them together. Here we go. Still gonna look weird. It's gonna be really weird. And. Yep. We received Arcozolt, which is Ice Electric. So here it is. It's pretty interesting. The shaking of its shivering upper half is what generates the electricity. It has a hard time walking around. Well, yes. It's like a fusion. We're going to call this... Um... Sneasel. Well, we'll just call it Sneeze. We already have a Sneasel, let's be real. And it's Dark Ice. And we're going to stick this in the box. And now we're going to do this again, 
but we're going to do it with the bird this time. So we're going to do, I mean, with the fish. So fish, and then we're going to do it with Drake to get the water dragon. And yes, we're going to put them together and let's see what it'll give us. Still going to be weird. I think the head of the fish is super weird. Objective complete. It seems like the restoration was a great success. And we got Draco Fish, which I honestly do believe these Pokemon never walked the earth. Look at that! That Pokemon never walked the earth. Like, look at that! That's like the half of its tail and then they plopped on the head of a fish. Powerful legs and jaws make it the apex predator of all time. Its own overhunting of its prey was what drove it to extinction. I don't believe so. I believe it's just a made-up creature. And we're just going to call this one... Well, I don't think there's anything else to call it. Like, oh, OMFG. That's what we're going to call it. <gasps> we can't enter that. Maybe OMG. Oh, well, I didn't save. Oh, well. <laughs> well, now we knows we can't do OMFG. The more you know. And then now we're going to do fish. And we're going to do the last one with the fossilized dino. Which will then give us water ice. One of my favorite typing pairs. But this one looks pretty weird. But I, this is the one that I honestly believe probably actually existed. Because it just looks like it belongs together. The other three, not really. But, oh well. But see, like, look at that. Like, look at that. It's, it's pretty real, in my opinion. It's pretty believable. Though it's able to capture prey by freezing its surroundings, it's trouble eating the prey afterward because its mouth is on top of its head. Yeah. That, yeah. That's pretty weird. But I seriously believe it's just like a butched up job, like, of using them together. And yes, we're gonna call this one. Um. My mouth? Or really, we're gonna call it Smash Mouth. Let's just call it Smash Mouth. Uh... There we go. Oh, we forgot the U. There we go. Smash Mouth. We're singing to the box. And. That is pretty much the Pokemon. We're just going to go through the decks very quickly. Back to them. It's up here. Here we go. Here are four fossil Pokemon. Dragozolt, Arctozolt, Dracovish, and Arctovish. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this did help you out, give it a like. If you like Pokemon content, please subscribe. And make sure you guys do check out my Instagram, Pokeobsession. And until then, see you guys soon.